for a second. This is uh, a sort of self-inflicted blow that the Trump administration has taken by greenlighting this military intervention. Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing five, five, four, one. Trying to see if the audio is synced up properly. I'm using uh, Debut Professional by NCH. And uh, I've been listening to the B British Broadcasting Corporation World Service since like 1955. Of course, now you can get it on the internet, on the World Wide Web. And on some of your, uh, like, public radio FM stations, uh, sometimes they at night here, and when it's night here, it's, uh... In a way, uh, testing. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. This is probably not, uh, what am I pointing at? Uh, for my video, I probably should embed the video instead of, but on the other hand, it gives me the the ability to do this. So maybe I should stick with doing it this way. Or maybe I just ought to get smarter about everything. I keep switching programs. That's one of the problems. Uh, by the way, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's... Uh, October 17th of 2019, so I guess this is going to be a, uh, a little YouTube video. Let me show you the uh, control panel that I'm using. The software may pull this over here. So this is what I have on my other screen that I can play with and... Uh, adjust and I really really should uh, pick one software of course everybody's going to say what's the one you always tell me to use I uh, can't remember now but so I can turn the BBC up here let's see because it is really powerful. And you know, it's just such a beautiful way of articulating what's on your heart. It's almost like a vehicle to be able to ex Articulating? What's wrong? Doesn't that person know how to speak? Saturday at 11 and Sunday at 19 GMT. On you, Zan. The next 30 minutes, more views of that uh, EU-UK Brexit deal. James Kamara Sam will be speaking to a European leader. I'll hear from a member of the main opposition Labour Party. And what chance the deal will be approved in Westminster? If not, and so many questions. We'll try to provide an answer or two after this summary of the news. BBC News with Stuart McIntosh. Turkey has agreed with the United States that it will halt its offensive against Kurdish fighters in northern Syria for five days. During that time, the Kurdish militants have been the border area. The ceasefire was announced after talks between President Erdogan and the US Vice President Mike Pence. The commander of the Kurdish YPG forces, Mazlum Kobani, said his forces would do anything to make it a success. The acting White House Chief of Staff, Mick Mulvaney, has acknowledged that military aid was withheld from Ukraine in an effort to put pressure on the government there. Oh. He said the aim was to encourage called corruption by Democrats in the 2016 US presidential election. The British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, says he's convinced that the British Parliament will back his new Brexit deal. After EU leaders gave it their unanimous backing, he urged MPs to get Britain out of the EU at the end of the month by voting on Saturday. Renowned Cuban ballet dancer Alicia Alonso has died at the age of 98. Alonso worked as director of the Cuban National Ballet and was a prima ballerina assoluta. 
an honour awarded to the very best female ballerinas. The head of the IMF, Christina Georgieva, has welcomed progress in trade talks between the US and China, but warned that more needs to be done to resolve the issues that divide them. Economists estimate that the new tariffs and taxes will knock about 700 billion off the world economy next year. Okay. Still wondering about uh, the audio sync. Testing one, two, three. I'm actually recording this at 24 frames per second. I always record it like 60 frames a second. But I want to be a movie producer or something, right? So I'm doing 24 frames a second. That'll probably mess up the audio. Probably mess up the audio. And maybe the video. Did I say that it was uh, October 17th of 2019? I think I did. Yeah. By the way, I am, I have been for uh, Harris from the very beginning and now she's uh, number one right now. And a single, a single, a senior Turkish official, we got exactly what we wanted. Man discovers a shipwreck while walking dog on the beach. Let's see. investigation so it was tied to Trump's desire for an investigation of his political appointment uh, felony and everybody involved felonies uh, quote we do this all the time the acting chief of staff responded to questions about this if this if this was a quid pro quo Mulvaney's news conference was mind-blowing. You know, with... Uh, <laughs> we're, all our minds are blown every day. So not, we're not shocked by anything anymore. This is a news, you know, Mulvaney's messages. Is, yeah. If you're going to purchase something on Amazon, what URL do you use? Amazon.com? No. You use JimHoward.me because I get a commission. And I want a lot of commissions. That's where JimHoward.com takes you. You could just use that URL. But back to breaking news. Uh, ambassador testifying the president directed diplomats to work with uh, Giuliani on the Ukraine you know uh, for those of you outside the United States and maybe for some of you inside the United States uh, Giuliani was a federal prosecutor and uh, for New York I'm not sure if you call it New York well the district or how exactly how it but he was a fantastic prosecutor and then he went on to become mayor of New York City and I don't know how he did it but I think he was and plus two I think he was mayor if I remember correct during the 9-11 and I, I think he did I don't know. I think he did okay as mayor. 
and or um, or uh, what? But wow, he his brain is fr something is wrong. Uh, I mean, he it's it's wow, it's an interesting. And then you have Giuliani and Trump. What an amazing. Uh, I could do without the amazement, so you know, I'm, I'm old. Let's see. Family makes an eerie discovery in the basement. Uh uh. Well, of course, my philosophy is never go down to the basement. Uh, never go up to the attic. You know, I. You watch all these movies, you know, on TV, scary movies. A family goes into a house. A scary monster appears or something. Run. Get out. But, you know. But no, the movie goes on. The family tries different things. No. Go. Run. Okay, what was the eerie discovery in the basement? Computer moves kind of slow when I'm recording the desktop like this. An, an Iowa family is left in shock and forced to evacuate their home after discovering blood from a neighbor's neighboring slaughterhouse seeping into their basement. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Now, why did they buy a house? house next week. Probably got a good deal on it. Real estate broker. Let's see, Mr. Smith. I have this wonderful house. You're going to love this house. It is a great house. And the price, You, we're going to get you a great price on this house. Uh, just do not go down to the basement. Uh, let's see, a man was sentenced to 15 years for, for cocaine possession. Good, lock that bastard up. Lock him up for 15, he only got 15 years. I should lock him up for, oh, wait a minute. It was powdered milk. Oh, okay. Well, what's a man doing with powdered milk? Uh Okay, Bella Hadid is the most beautiful woman in the world, according to science. I don't know who she is. Plane carrying Prince William landing twice. They had to go around again, come around again. I don't. It doesn't that happen to? Uh, I don't know. I I haven't flown all that many times in my life. I'm old. Let's see. The Wright brothers, they took me around once or twice and we had to abort. Forced to abort landing twice. A British Royal Air Force plane carrying the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge was forced to abandon landing twice in Pakistan due to bad weather on Thursday. The royal couple and around 40 other members of the traveling media <coughs> were... In the new BBC documentary, Prince William is opening up about the loss of his mother, like no other, after her death. And I hate this. this a car accident in 1990. And, and emphasized... And then... The uh, I think there's 24 frames a second. Maybe not be a good idea. And maybe this DCH software may not be a good idea. Maybe I have to go back to Manicam. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Forgot how to stop it. Uh, pause? No. Stop.